After a brief period of slumber, Skoda's flagship SUV is back on sale now in an updated avatar. The Kodiak for 2022 gets a minor makeover, some new equipment and an all-new, more powerful heart. So let's see what these changes are all about. Minor makeover, you ask? Yes, look closely and you'll spot the differences. To start with, it gets these attractive-looking restyled LED headlamps. And what's new about them is that the LED DRLs now features these unique eyelashes, which look very attractive, especially in the dark. Skoda's signature grille gets some tasteful chrome treatment and has been restyled and so has the bumper. But you really need to see the old and new cars side by side to spot the differences. Moving on to the side profile, the side profile remains largely unchanged and so is the pattern of the alloy wheels. They are identical to the ones of the LNK version of the previous iteration. What's different is that they now feature a dual tone finish. The 2022 Kodiak retains its distinct waist and shoulder lines, which add flavour to its clean-cut European styling. The most prominent change at the rear are these crystalline LED tail lamps, which now feature sequential tone indicators. While this 2022 version styling isn't dramatically different compared to the previous iteration, but all these subtle updates combined certainly lend a touch of modernity to this handsome SUV. There is one quirk, or the lack of it, worth bringing up. Remember those clever door protectors which popped out each time you opened the Kodiak's doors? Those have been given a miss in this 2022 version. And before I take you through the interiors, let me show you its boot space. Yes, you get an electrically operable tailgate and when it opens, it reveals a pretty decent area. You can easily fit in two soft bags with absolute ease and that is with all the three rows up. You can fold the 50-50 split last row down and even the middle row folds to liberate a cavernous 2,005 litres of luggage space. Now let's step into the cabin and see what its interiors are like. Do you hear that? That's the solid European thud that we've come to appreciate and it gives a sense of reassurance that this car is really well built. Once you step in, you'll notice that the design is all too familiar but you will appreciate the sheer levels of quality and fit and finish. There are some new bits like this new two-spoke steering wheel which we've seen in the Octavia and the Kushak and this one even gets a Lauren and Clement badge. Then there's the large digital instrument cluster which has multiple views and customization options and then you get this nice 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Skoda designers have cleverly incorporated this touchscreen out here. Now you see the size is actually 8 inch which is not all that big but because it has these shortcut keys embedded on either side of the screen it looks a lot larger than it actually is. Not only does this system get inbuilt navigation it also packs in wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. Thankfully Skoda have offered a physical volume knob too. And while I'm seated here, let me also tell you that these seats are really broad, really comfortable and really accommodating to even the widest of frames. What's nice is that both the driver and passenger get three memory options and what adds to the comfort is the fact that you get ventilation and heating functions for the front seats. The other feature addition here is wireless charging for your mobile phone. Another new addition here is a 12-speaker Canton sound system which replaces the 10-speaker unit and this new setup is likely to keep most music lovers happy and entertained. Now would be the right time to glance through the feature list of the Skoda Kodiak. It is extremely well kitted in terms of safety too. Over to the back seat. Step into the middle row of the Kodiak and there's a lot to like here as well. The seats are large, they are comfortable, they are supportive and there's plenty of knee room, there's plenty of headroom and then the seats also adjust fore and aft if you want to extend your leg space or 
give the rear passenger more space. You can slide ahead in the front. You can also recline your seat back to a comfortable angle. And then there's the sleep package which comes with the LNK version, which will hold you in place when you've taken a nap. Even the rear seat is really wide and really comfortable, so you can seat through your breast with ease. What's also nice is that the central tunnel is quite narrow, leaving enough space on either sides of it for the middle passenger to rest their feet. There's a lot to keep rear passengers happy out here. You have this nice expansive glass area on top and on the side. And when you don't want it, you can even put up the sun blinds and block the light outside. Other bits of interest for middle row passengers are the rear armrest with three cup holders, an option to adjust the climate control from here, a 12 volt socket to charge your electrical devices and storage areas in the door and front seat back pockets. And now let me show you how the third row is. Now these seats don't tumble, so you have to sort of put an effort and slide them forward and trek your way into the back seat. And once you've made yourself comfortable in the third row of the Kodiak, you'll notice that space here is at a premium. Now, as you can see, I'm seated in a knees up position, literally on the floor, and the backrest is quite upright. There's no adjustment, you cannot recline the backrest. And well, it's a good option to have seven seats, but no full grown adult would want to sit here, willingly at least. Static evaluation complete, now let's hit the road. So if the makeover isn't exciting enough and its feature list isn't extensive enough, here's a factor that might excite you. Skoda has equipped the Kodiak with a 2.0-litre turbo petrol engine and this one is really an exciting motor. This engine makes 190 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. It's mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and it transmits power to all the four wheels. If these specs sound familiar, that's because they are. Skoda shares this engine with the Volkswagen Tiguan and the Audi Q2. What you'll really love about this engine and transmission is just how smooth it is and how seamlessly it delivers its performance. And when you are in the mood for some excitement, you can use the paddle shifts, downshift, enjoy the rev match and leave the traffic in your rear view mirror. This motor will rev all the way to 6,300 RPM and when it does, it emits a really sporty snarl. It is addictive. Not like the earlier iteration with the 2 litre 150 horsepower diesel engine was a slouch, but this one is a lot more potent. Now high revving excitement aside, this one feels a lot more energetic right from the get-go. Skoda claims that the Kodiak can do a 0 to 100 km per hour run in just 7.8 seconds. Now this car is equipped with launch control, it gets all-wheel drive, so there's no reason to doubt their claim. It's easy to get carried away with this strong engine. Trouble is, driving with enthusiasm takes a toll on its fuel economy. Like on other turbo petrol cars, driving style has a big bearing on efficiency numbers. For its part, Skoda has added some measures to keep a check on fuel consumption. This 2.0-litre TSI engine is equipped with automatic engine start-stop function. So when you've come to a traffic light, it will automatically turn off the engine in order to save fuel. Another fuel saving feature is the coasting function. So when you are driving at a steady speed, it will go into neutral in order to save fuel. And once you get back on the throttle, it will engage a gear to give you that immediate response. Then there's the other big talking point of this 2022 version. Like the early iteration, even this version gets drive modes. But what's new this time is that it gets dynamic chassis control. 
Now what that does is, it stiffens things up when you want a sportier drive and it softens things down when you want the drive to be a lot more comfortable and a lot more relaxing. In sport mode, the car feels agile around corners. Yes, it does roll a fair bit, but with fantastic grip levels thanks to its all-wheel drive system, there's a degree of fun you can have while hustling this SUV around. And I must say that the ride quality in other modes is really good and it soaks up bad roads very competently, much better than the earlier iteration. There's also an off-road mode to speak of and the monocoque-bodied Kodiak certainly feels capable enough to tread off the beaten path. It isn't a mountain goat like the tough-as-nails, body on frame Toyota Fortuner, but with its all-wheel drive capability, the Kodiak will keep most owners satisfied. Before giving the verdict, let's get one thing out of the way. Being a petrol-only model means the Kodiak will not be on the radar of buyers who associate big SUVs with diesel engines. However, at the same time, the evening out of petrol and diesel prices and things like the limited 10-year registration validity of diesel in places like Delhi are also pushing buyers towards petrols. Skoda recently announced the prices for the 2022 Kodiak range which start at 34.99 lakh and top out at 37.49 lakh for the fully loaded LMK version, placing it in the price territory of entry-level premium luxury cars. But look at what you're getting for your money and Skoda's flagship SUV as a package is quite convincing. The Skoda Kodiak ticks all the right boxes if you're looking for a European-built, luxurious, comfortable, car-like SUV. What's nice is that it comes with the practicality of seven seats, it has an expansive feature list and now with the 2.0-litre turbo petrol engine, Skoda has added that much more zing into the Kodiak's package. In this video, we'll tell you all that you should know about the 2022 Skoda Kushak. Super, very good. And it softened things. It's different things. It's 